Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at um, translations. Uh, we, we've been taking and graphing um, shapes and translating them using different slides. Uh, but at this point now, we want to look at what if given a situation, a translation, can we determine that translation by just looking at the points versus the graph? So I'll use a graph, but we, our goal is to determine translations from point to point. So this is CPM, and it is, uh, oops, CPM, and it is the course three, uh, number 6-27, 6 6-27. Uh, and this is from um, 6.1.3. Oh, yes. <clears throat> so... Let me read the question and we'll go from there. So it says, Aaron started with one corner of a figure located at negative four comma five and translated it to the to end at six comma eight. So it went from this point to this point to find out how far the shape moved horizontally. She decided to find the difference between the two X coordinates. So if we, we think about a graph, right? We think about a graph. If we're moving left to right, right? If we're moving at all left to right, that is the X coordinate that is being translated, right? So thinking about it from left to right, it's the X coordinate being translated. So in order to figure out the translation of the X coordinates, she writes six minus negative four. So part A, when Aaron simplified six minus negative four, she got two as her answer. Is this correct? If not, what is the correct simplification? So first of all, why did she do six minus negative four? Because if we think about, we're going from this point to this point, I need to find the distance between the two points. And in order to find the distance between two points, you would subtract them. That's to find the distance, right? So if I'm looking at, again, looking at it graphically, and we'll just look at it graphically just for the sake of um, understanding this, uh, but we want, the goal is to not be able to have to use graph to determine the answer. But negative one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So this is that point, negative four, five, right? And then the other point is, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's gonna sh it's gonna get translated over to six, eight. So right now along x, it's gonna go this direction. It's gonna go from here to here. So I want to find that distance, right? So to find the distance from one point to the next on a number line, you just subtract those points. So she is right. She's right to say. 6 minus negative 4 is how we're going to find that distance. But the problem is she got 2 as her answer. And 2 is not correct, right? So we know, what do we know? We know that if I were to take 6 minus negative 4, this is the same thing. When you're subtracting a negative, it's the same thing as adding the opposite, right? The opposite is adding 4. So it would be 10. And if we graphically, we look at this, that makes more sense as well, too. We didn't go over just two. We went over a full 10 from this point to this point. It would have been adding 10. So that change in X is 10. So the change in X is 10. So is she correct? No, she's not correct. Uh, if not, what is the correct simplification? So we just did it right over here. The correct simplification would be 10. So B. So it says write another expression to find out how far the, the shape moved vertically, right? So our vertical, remember, vertical movement is talking about the Y. How far did the Y move? So we can, we can see here how far it moved. We can actually even graphically already determine that's going to be one, two, three, right? But again, our goal is that we don't have to use the graph to determine this. So let's, let's look at the what does this mean to do with um, computation, uh, so write another expression. So she went from this point to this point to find the distance. So the the start, what we do is we take the finish, the end, minus the start. Okay? So it's the end minus the start. That's what this was. The end minus, oops, minus the start. So 
our expression for the y would be the end, which is 8, minus the start, which is 5. And that, sure enough, equals 3. So that translation uh, was 3 up, right? Up 3. So there we have our translation. If we want to de determine these translations as uh, uh, looking at them in their point perspective, we would say this translation was, I'm going to put it over here, this translation was up 10, so x plus 10. Oops, did not mean to put the, yeah, let me try that one more time, sorry. Uh, the It would be to say x plus 10 comma y plus 3. So to the right 10 and up 3. That would be that definition of that translation. All right, so let's let's look at C and do each of these then that exact same way. So how can I describe these translations? So for I, so I'm on C, I, I'm going from on the X, 3 to 5. Right. So what we would do is to find the X, we would take the end. Right. Again, this is the end and this is the start. So I'm going to go end minus start to find those. Translations end minus start. So five minus three for the X. Is going to be equal to two. And then for the Y, we're going to go uh, negative nine minus negative two. Right, so negative nine minus negative two, which is well, that becomes uh, add two. So it's negative nine plus two. Add the opposite when you're adding a negative, which is equal to negative seven. So what? How can I describe I? I can describe it as saying uh, that x plus two comma y minus seven, or you could say uh, to the right. Two and down seven. So you can write it in words or using the notation here, the the x comma y notation. So then double i, double i is negative one four two six comma negative two. That's what we're doing. So what are we doing? So again, so we're gonna look at the x's. And we're going to say it's 6 minus negative 1, which is the same thing as 6 plus 1, right? Add the opposite. So that equals 7. So that changes 7 in the positive direction, so to the right. And then for y, for y, we have negative 2 minus 4. So the end minus the start. And we get, in this case, remember, we're subtracting a negative, right? It's the same thing as negative 2 plus negative 4, which is equal to negative 6. So how do I describe it? I could say this is x plus 7 comma y minus 6. Or I can say to the right, 7 and down 6. Okay, there's double I. Triple I. I'll write it down so you can't see it any longer up there, is starting at 0, 0. So that's my start, and I'm going to end at negative 4, negative 7. So once again, the x would be negative 4 minus 0, which is equal to negative 4. And then the y would be negative 7 minus 0, which is negative 7, right? So it's the end minus the start. And so we can call this, we can say this is x minus 4 comma y minus 7 or we can write it in words and say this time to the left because left is left direction is the ne is a negative 4 so to the left 4 and then and down 7 right so negative is down when you're talking about the y for the x it's left for negative okay last one Number four, it's we're going from negative two to negative no, negative two nine is the starting point, and that's translating to two nine. So what is my translation here? So I'm gonna start with the x. I'm gonna go from two minus negative two, right? So again, start at the end. It's end minus start. 
So 2 minus a negative 2 is the same thing as saying 2 plus 2. So that equals 4. And on the y, you're saying 9 minus negative 9, right? End minus start, which is the same thing as 9 plus 9. Add the opposite, which is 18. So how do I describe this translation? It's x plus 4 and y plus 18. And in words, this would be to the right, 4. And now I have a positive 18 as my transition or translation for y. So I would say and up, because now I'm going positive, up 18. Okay. There we go.